showing my face because I'm in my pajamas right now. Um, but anyways, this is what you'll need. You'll need a potato, a knife, an exacto knife, a pencil, a paintbrush, some fabric, paint, a shallow dish, I'm just using a lid that I found, a piece of cardboard, and the shirt or whatever you want to print. And yeah, let's get started. So first, cut your potato. You're only going to be using a half of it, so just eat the other one at some point. This part is optional, but if you want to get an idea of what you want to put, just trace your potato onto a piece of paper and then roughly draw out what image you want on your potato, just in case you mess up. It's easier to do it this way. Now you're going to want to draw out your design on your potato half. You're just getting the indentation of the image on there and then you'll go over those lines with your exacto knife. You don't have to worry about this being perfect because you'll clean up the lines later. Now you're going to use your knife and cut off about a half an inch all the way around your image. I recommend starting off in small increments and working your way down. It makes it a lot easier and you don't have to worry about messing up your image. You'll go over those lines again right after this. Now you're going to go around your cuts with your X-Acto knife again to clean it up. You want the edges to be pretty sharp and make sure you have nice cutouts from the inside of your image like the teeth and the skull and the eyes and the nose. You really want those to be hollowed out so the paint doesn't stick to the insides. Now you'll want to wipe down your potato to get off any excess potato bits and to dry off this potato surface because if it's too wet it won't stamp as well. So make sure you dry it off really well with a paper towel. You shouldn't see any glossiness to the potato surface. Just get off all that moisture. Before you start printing on your actual t-shirt, you may want to try out your stamp on a piece of paper beforehand. I used my paintbrush to paint on the fabric paint. I found it was easier to get a nice coverage over the entire stamp. After pre-washing your shirt, put your piece of cardboard in between the two layers so that the paint doesn't go through to the other side. You can stamp your design in any layout that you want. I decided to go in a diagonal grid pattern, but doing it randomly all over the shirt would be cool as well. Here is my finished shirt. I decided not to stamp the back side, but I was really happy with how it turned out, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.